Commissioner, Sin Dragon Lord, aka your Phoenix Primals. I am here with Brian from the Boston Braviaries and Trevor from the Oklahoma Thunderous. How are you doing today, Brian? Hey, doing good, Kevin. Uh, glad to be back, pulling me out of retirement to take a look at these teams kicking off season 11. Feels like old times. Been a long time, but glad to uh, kick this off for you. Perfect. Glad to hear that. How about you, Trevor? How you doing? Doing great. Nothing better than uh, ranking other people's teams because one of my favorite parts was when you guys would rank and I would go watch and see what was said about my team. So I'm sure everybody else will be real excited to hear what we have to say today. Perfect. All right, well, let's get started first with the Buffalo Badoofs. Uh, they are rocking the Dragapult, Ditto, Lucario, Sableye, Necrozma, Vaporeon, Magirna, Hitmontop, Alolan Raichu, and Ralph. Now, before we start, what are the rules for, uh, like, what's the tier that you can, you know? Uh, so. Terrestrialize and all that. Yeah. Oh, uh, same as before, nine and under. Nine and under? Okay. Are there any restrictions when it comes to uh, stored power stuff or no, anything no. like that? No, Magirna. Next Magirna time. can go wild. Magirna can go Magirna. wild, just like last time. Yes. She's, she's full tilt? Full tilt. Okay. All right, uh, Ryan, do you want to start? Uh, yeah, I mean, this looks like a very strong um, all-around team for sure. I mean, Dragapult is always good. You know, it can do so many things. You can be physical, you can be special. You just got two of the best stabs in the game between Dragon and Ghost. Um, you know, your speed tier is crazy other than Scarfers. You can just run Adamant and not really have to worry about much of anything. So Dragapult, always a good uh, pick. Um, it's Padoof, so he's got that ditto, which, you know, I don't really like ditto that much, but it can help uh, against certain scenarios. You know, you scarf a ditto, and you can prevent a reverse sweep on a set of Pokemon or something. Uh, yeah, other offensive Pokemon, he's got Lucario, great priority. Um, Magirna, of course, we talked about with setup. It's a very good bulky setup Pokemon. And he's got some defensive utility. Sableye is super annoying. Uh, there's some games where it does nothing, and some games where like it's really hard to break through, especially with terrestrialization. It can change its type, and then the opposing team might not be ready for it. Uh, so it can, you know, gotta watch for that one. Just make sure it doesn't stall out too many games, because there were some games before where it has kind of been stalling. Vaporeon's a good terrestrialization op option there at nine points. Uh, yeah, pretty solid overall. The The only thing I see as a glaring weakness is he is definitely a little weak to ghost spam in the other direction. Uh, but, yeah, pretty solid overall. All right, where would you put this if you had to give it a ranking? Oh, it looks like he had muted or lost something. He might be back in a minute. All right, I, I'll pick you back a little bit off of it. I like the water absorb Vaporeon being able to ter 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 Um I do wish he did have, what, like Ryan was saying, a normal type so he could be immune because that Ditto is going to come in and change as the Pokemon that it's seen. So it doesn't have that ghost immunity. It's wiggly tough, but I mean, that means you're bringing Wiggly tough. Yeah, you're not actually ever bringing that thing, let's be honest. All right, so if y'all had to give it a ranking, what would you say? If this was my team, I'd say it's an A team. I mean, it's A. The speed tier is nice. The abilities are nice. And the two, the prankster, the um, the two legendaries are strong. Dragapult's fast. That's just my opinion. Okay, what about, uh, what about you? Yeah, right, right now I'd say A. Um... I think his only uh, hazard setter is Necrozma, who I believe gets rocks. Because I, I think does Magirna get spikes? I don't think so now. Yeah, so I think Necrozma is the only thing that can set up hazards. But other than that, I mean, he's got hazard removal with Hitmontop and uh, 
You know, just solid utility sure. and good offense. You guys froze. On my screen, you're frozen, but I don't know. All right. Well, um, so the only thing that I had a note that um, that you guys didn't mention is uh, got uh, your. Actually, no, there is one other thing that gets Stealth Rocks on his team, but that means he's also bringing Wiggly Tough again for Rocks. Because <laughs> Wiggly Tough also gets Rocks. Yeah, we, we, we don't count that. Wiggly Tough just it's not. isn't on this team. You have a one-pointer, I'm not even really looking at it. But the only thing outside of that is he's got two spin blockers too, so once he gets Rocks up, he has a couple options to spin. Not so much to prevent Defog unless you're doing Taunt Sableye, which I guess is also an option, but... Um... The only thing that I noticed, um, I put here that he's kind of very weak, but let me see. One. So he doesn't really have a whole lot of fairies. Yeah, I mean, he is very, like, very weak, but fairies are so rare. It's like, eh, if you're going to be weak to one type. And he's got Magirna the, and uh, Bullet Punch Lucario, so it's like he has options against it. All right, well, I put... Uh, I put A for for mine. So, are we all in agreement? This is an A team. Yeah, we'll see uh, how the other teams stack up, but uh, I definitely put him in A right now. Yeah, yeah. Lucar is a solid terror it's type too. Either just getting either stronger bullet punch or, like you were saying, the terror normal. The extreme. Okay. Yeah. Right. So solid A tier. It's nice. It's just Dragonite at home. Next up, we got uh, Drift Bell. Uh, we're looking at the Garchomp, the Iron Treads, the Tornadus, the Finistra, the Halucha, the Confe, Dragalge, the Vasculant, and the Vol. Uh, I'll let you start this one off, Trevor. Uh, I mean, the setup's here. Um, this this team is crazy with the uh, entry hazards from just first look, and it can clear them pretty easily as well. We all know how strong Garchomp can be. I'm curious to see what Cole would do with his. his uh, kind of freezing again there. Tras maybe because it just doesn't seem like he has. Other stronger options. So it's like that's the one going into the match, you would know that he's probably bringing either game. There. All right. And then. Yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, just kind of echoing what Trevor was saying with Dragalge. And then, I mean, you could like Terra Water Basculin, just try and wave crash through some things, but there's not much there. Uh, he kind of doubles up a lot on a lot of types with this team, though. You got two ground types, you got two flying types, two uh, two dragons, two poisons. Um, so I could see other teams kind of being able to prepare for that and kind of getting a two-for-one edge on him in certain matchups. Not that the Pokemon he's chosen are like, you know, this is a very fast team overall other than like the uh, poison types. So he could use that to his advantage, but that that's just like a weakness I see is there are a lot of type double ups that he could uh get taken advantage of with. For sure. Um if you guys had to give this a ranking. I'm gonna say B. I don't think it's as strong as the Badoofs right off the bat, so I'm I'm gonna have to give it a B. I think it's a solid team, but again I could just see like the the type chart um working against him like if someone can get like a you know two two for wanting on pokemon like you're gonna win yeah i, I must have been cutting in and out the ice weakness is pretty big here and you don't really have a resistance to it either so yeah big, that's the big only ice thing I sure. see. yeah especially with like freeze dry because even if you did bring the vasculin with you know heavy water I mean, it's just another freeze dry or ice weakness. So, yeah, that's what I noticed too. Um, I noticed that like a lot of this team is weak to ice. 
Uh, the, the Terra options are kind of lacking. Like, Frogology is obviously the best one, but other than that, he doesn't really have, like, that many Terra options. Uh, and I... Yeah. Your Galgy Steel is the only thing that I th see helping this team. So, yeah, yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking a B as well. Run, we got El Paso uh, with the Shield Pal, the yeah. Iron Moth, the Skarmory, Rotom Wash, Swampert, Silbro, Porygon Two, Hitmonchan, Spiritomb, Hunter. Uh, I'll start this off. Uh, the first thing that I noticed is he's got a lot of heavy hitters. Um, full disclosure, I drafted the first three. And Cole drafted up to uh, the Hitmonchan, because El Paso was late to the draft. So admittedly, half the team was drafted for him. So, um, But the first thing that I noticed um, is, uh, how did IGN phrase it? Uh, Ranking 7.8, but too much water for Oros. <laughs> uh, so that was the first thing. He's got hella water. Um, and, I mean, outside of... Oh, he's got rocks with Skarmory, and he's also got Whirlwind Champions. Uh, he's got Toxic Spikes with Iron Maw, so that could be a couple in blockers. Uh, the P2 could be really annoying with Terrestrialization. Um... Uh, but let me. I have it. Let's see. He's got really decent. Like, like I was just to piggyback off the Porygon. The, he's got some decent Terra options. Um, mm -hmm. That flow bro is nasty. Mm -hmm. Uh, decent balance. Love of, a good region. He's also got a good balance of like offense and defense. He doesn't like struggle in yeah. either department, so good no. balance there. That Chi and Pal could basically one shot a lot of things. That, that and, thing is so strong, so yeah. strong. That and despite the amount of waters that are on the team, he doesn't have a lot of repeating weaknesses at all. Like he's not like weak one specific type. The, like, the thing with the Chien Pao is he covered his bases with it. Like, every single Pokemon there is a resistance for that Chien Pao. So he has perfect switches to bring it in and, you know, really kill a lot of Pokemon with its speed tier and then switch it out with what you need. The defensive core around the first pick is really strong. For sure. All right, Ryan, what about you? What do you think? Yeah, he kind of went over... Uh... Some of my points right there, how you said with the, he has a lot of water types, but they don't really double up on that many weaknesses. And his other three main Pokemon, also like especially grass and stuff, like they just all eat grass types for breakfast. Mm -hmm. So even with all the waters, he is not as glaring a weakness as it seems. Um, yeah, he's he's kind of top heavy, and he doesn't have a lot of ways to remove hazards. He has, uh, like, Hitmonchan is his only rapid spinner. He doesn't have, like, Defog or anything. Does Skarmory um, not get Defog in this gen? No. Nah, that's why Corviknight's better. <laughs> ah. Yeah, well, duh. Okay. But, uh... Yeah, I mean, Swampert can set up rocks. Skarmory can do spikes or whatever. So, he's got Hazard setting. And then if he wants to bring, like, Spiritomb, he can Hazard block a bit. I like Slowbro and Porygon. They're bulky. They can recover up a bit. Um, I wish he had, like, Trevor, you kind of mentioned how Champao has some good ways to get in, but I wish he had some more Pokemon that had uh, some switch moves. Like, he really only has Rotom Wash, I think, yeah. um, to be able to, like, Volt switch around. So I wish he had, like, another U-Turner. Um, I think Swampert gets flip turn, doesn't it? Oh, does it? I yeah, actually, you're right. Okay, actually, Swampert with flip turn's really good. So well, that can, can get the power in. Can Slowbro teleport in this league or no? No, it te okay. it doesn't learn teleport in Gen uh, Nine. Oh, that was a let's go exclusive. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, that that makes sense. Yeah, the... same thing with Porygon too. It can't learn. And it. again, the regenerator on Slowbro is just so good, though. Yeah. 
Yeah, if it was slow king, then we'd be talking because you'd get up the snow, you get Chan Pao in slow, you're like, yeah, I'm ready. Uh, yeah. But if that um, was the thing here, that would be the switch. To me, this seems pretty similar to uh, Cole's team. Maybe his top Pokemon are a little bit better. So I think I'd put it B, but a little higher than Cole. Okay. That's, yes. That's kind of what I had as well. A high B. All right. Let's go ahead and do the B. Got Mid Valley. Uh, so we got Gouging Fire, King Gambit, Azumarill, Breloom, Dykevolt. A Raptor, uh, Ogre Pond, Cornerstone, Ampharos, Murkrow, and Sanaconda. Trevor, do you want to take this one? Uh, I'm putting in this team right here. I'm trying. Gouging Fire is apparently not in this little team builder thing that I put in. Um, I don't have much experience with that Pokemon, but I know that all of those uh, version exclusive legendary dogs are broken. They're all so good. So as long as the team is built around that, I don't see and I see a a really good um I see a lot of offense though. Don't see much defense. And then the terrestrialization options are too slow to even do anything. The best one is honestly Santa Conda. And you could be yeah. a defensive yeah. type, but yeah, he's kinda lacking in your spitting. But sand spit doesn't really help this team that much. So yeah, I, I think you just run shed skin on it and just tear a fairy or water and glare a bunch of things and get your rocks up and annoying. Yeah, just keep doing that sort of shenanigan. Rest, you know, rest with shed skin. You can wake up earlier sometimes. And Breloom is still spore. It's still the fastest spore, right? Uh, I believe so. Yeah. Yeah, no, no sleep ban. No sleep ban. Is is yeah. rest legal in in the league? Rest or? is legal, but sleep clause is in effect, so only one can be. Yeah, only one. Still, the come in and be able to spore anybody's like ace Pokemon is really nice, especially if you could, you know, use a uh, scarf just to make sure that it goes to sleep and then switch into anything you need. I mean. If you ultimately needed to, if like somebody had a really fast team, you could scarf, but you really wouldn't need it with the speed tier that Breloom's at. So they this team though, other than like Vikavolt, you don't have any like special attackers. And Vikavolt, as Trevor kind of mentioned with the speed, can be uh taken advantage of. So like yeah, he's got a lot of heavy hitters, but if you just max into your defense. You you can take these these hits like if you have um a couple strong defensive bodies like we saw like Slowbro and all that earlier like max defense bold I mean you can take some of these hits and uh, be able to uh either Will O Wisp spam like we got pranksters with Will O Wisp spam like so that's definitely like a glaring weakness like yeah you got the offense but it's all on one side yeah. I didn't realize that there wasn't very many special attackers. I didn't know if Gouging Fire was one or not. Nah, he's physical. Okay, just like Intei. Okay. Yeah. The only other thing that I noticed that uh, wasn't brought up was he doesn't really have any reliable... At least, maybe I'm wrong, but looking at it, I don't see any real reliable ways to hazards. Murkrow, but why would you bring it? The only reason I could think of that you would bring Murkrow is if you wanted to set up the sun for Gouging Fire. Yeah, but that's so, like, specific. Yeah. Like, I'd rather just Dragon Dance and go from there or Booster Energy and Sweep. Uh, I see a big poison weakness with not much, I mean, besides King Gambit on the immunity. Yeah. Um, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, because Ogre Pond's just neutral to it. Yeah, you can just uh, poison spam a little bit. But that's Ogre Pond Rock, isn't it? The C one? Yeah. Yeah, I like yeah. that one. Yeah. But again, it had, like, I don't, I can see what uh, Kevin was saying with no way to remove hazards. Like, oh, well, there goes your sturdy on the Ogre Pond, too, you know? Yeah. 
can't even. Do and he doesn't have a lot of ways to set up his own hazards. I think Ogre Pond gets spikes and Santa Conda with the rocks. I mean, it's Santa Conda, right? So Santa Conda has got to be the defensive core, the terrestrialization answer, the hazards. Like, there's a lot of stuff that Santa Conda is kind of carrying for this team. And unfortunately, it's another physical attacker, which means it's not covering the other offensive end of things. Yep, Ampros is pretty much the only special attacker. Ampros. Yeah, so I, I could see him having to bring Vikavolt a lot just because he's going to need some sort of special attacker and Volt Switcher, like a slow Volt Turner to get some of these Pokemon in. Plus, it's another ground uh, immunity to help with his King Gambit gouging fires, letting them get in. Right. All right. So, what are we so, thinking? What are we thinking ranking wise? I was, I was kind of thinking like, as much as the Pokemon are cool, but I just don't think there's enough going for it, like not enough support. I was thinking like, like C plus or B on the high side. What do you guys? Think? Oh, really? Yeah. I'm gonna wait to see what Trevor says. No, he's thinking. Okay. I think he's thinking. Trevor, can you hear us? I don't know if he can hear us. I don't know what he's <laughs> I think he might be lagging a little, actually. I think I just saw a little jolt. Trevor! Trevor, you there? All right. Well, I was going to actually say, because I think this is a team that can just bowl over a lot of teams, like, despite all that, okay. I think I want to put it, like, high B and just see where things kind of land after the fact. Because okay. I, I haven't seen a team that, like, can stop all this offense. Right, so, like, I might agree with you later, Kevin, but uh, yeah. once I see all the teams, like, oh, yeah, now I see that he loses to this team, this team, this team, put this down top of C, but... Right now, like, it is just the most pure offense team, which sometimes in these leagues just nets you, like, five, six wins right off the bat because most teams can't deal with all that. That's fair enough. I, I, yeah, I can see where you're coming from. All right, Trevor, tiebreaker, what are you thinking? Can you hear us again? Yeah, sorry. I guess my internet's going in and out, but no worries. Um, yeah, with the... I feel like the only team that really that we've seen so far that can stand up to this is the highly defensive slow bro switch team with your Chien Pao coming in as revenge. But other than that, I mean, Chien Pao's not going to hit a lot of these very hard. So the the King Gambit and the Gouging Fire are, are going to destroy that thing. So Fair. I would say low B, high C, but that's just where I'm at. But with with the offensive power, it's kind of hard to argue. Yeah, that was Ryan's point. So do we want to go B, and then if we need to move it down, we can? Uh, yeah. thinking above or below Cole? Yeah, I think bottom of B is okay. a good spot. I think it's a um, just because of the loading on the attack side, no special. It's just the most unbalanced team we've seen so far. So Fair enough. Yeah, it's definitely a min max team for sure, but I would hate to to go against it if I didn't have a defensive Pokemon, I'll tell you that. Alright, next we got uh Paris. We got Archaladon, Urshifu, Rapid Strike, Lamora, Guard of War, Gauscarada, Charizard, Rotom Fan, Indeedy Female, Luxray, and Lapska. What's your first initial thoughts, Ryan? Yeah, so uh First thing I noticed was I like his um, array of options for terrestrialization uh, compared to most of the teams. He definitely has like three or four like solid options here. Like Charizard and Rotom Fan can both be pretty offensive in that option. And then Ndidi um, is more of a defensive option. Then I could even see in certain matchups like Rapska coming in and being able to Revival Blessing and be able to do that a couple times with a with the right Terra. Um, like with a Lepa Berry or something too. Uh, Archaladon. Um, I I don't know too much about Archaladon because it got banned really early on Smogon, so I can only assume that like you know it's 
super strong um, with the right matchups. I know in rain teams was where it was really abused early on. Um, and with Rapid Strike, I wouldn't be surprised if he finds a way to get rain up with this team because surging strikes in the rain and then Archaladon in the rain just seems like really powerful. Uh, Glamora, solid, like very solid, just get up your hazards, sort of Pokemon, remove hazards. Um, Gardevoir um, is always great as a Scarfer or Choice Specs option in certain matchups. And then Meowskarada, uh, just another good solid uh, Pokemon that can also set up spikes if for whatever reason he doesn't want to do Glamora, you know, got the Protean, all that stuff. Uh, yeah, this is a very uh, solid overall team. I don't see a lot of defensive, like just straight defensive options. But um, I think it's a very solid overall team. Kind of the polar opposite of the structure he had uh, in Invitational, where it was like one or two Terra users. Now it's like half his team is Terra. So. Uh, the only thing that I wish he would have done, and I honestly thought it was going to be like his second or third pick, is I thought he was going to grab Pelipper or Politoed just to make use of the R challenge. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I can see the kind of the lack of defense, kind of the opposite of, uh, well, actually, no, it's kind of a, uh, kind of Mid-Valley's, oh, a little bit of mid what Was it Mid-Valley or was it El Paso that had the... El Paso is the defensive team so far. Yeah, so kind of the... A little bit of the opposite of that, uh, in that sense. Great offense. So if you fall on the back foot, it may be a little difficult to climb back up. But uh, I think it's a solid note. Um, the only th other thing, I mean, obviously he's got decent, uh, like, Lamora is obviously a great hazard setter, and it can spin away with mortal spin, but if you put a steel type in front of it, it's not going to be able to spin anything. Uh, so that being the only form of hazard removal might be challenging depending on the team. But honestly, outside of the lack of... The only other thing is, I, um, yeah, I guess the main point is I wish you would grab Pelipper Polytoad on my team. I like it, though, regardless. What do you think, Trevor? Uh, I think that the coverage of weaknesses is nice here. It's got a lot of immunities. Um, you know, with the steel, you got your poison immunity, which... You know, you got a couple of weaknesses there, but, you know, taking a zero instead of taking just a not very effective is a lot better. So, and then if you bring the Rotom fan or the Charizard, you got your ground weakness or your ground immunity. Um, the psychic immunity with Meowskarata and then uh, Dragon with the Gardevoir. So you can't really Dragon spam on this team either, like with a Scarf or a Band or whatever. Because the immunity is there. So I think that the defensive core uh, doesn't necessarily need to be there on this team because of the way that you can switch around and really work around the uh, immunities that you have. Fair enough. What are we thinking? Uh, I think this is the best team we've seen so far just as a core because of all the options for terrestrialization. And then... The uh, mixture of firepower plus we all know Urshifu Rapid Strike. The crits are insane. Like, what are you gonna do? Yeah, in singles, it's just good. Yeah, I mean, like most teams come out of draft, he's got to massage a couple weaknesses. But I, I, I could definitely see this as like an A team. Mm -hmm. Same. All right. Yeah. Uh, so top of A, we're thinking. Next up is oh, myself. his team. Oh, I love Vax Caliber so much. So, yours truly, the Phoenix Primals. We got Vax Caliber, Alolan Ninetales, Galarian Slow King, Dawn Fan, Titan, Holion, Crocolore, Grim Snarl, Spite Ops, and Just Clops. Uh, I'm not really going to rank my own team because that's a odd. Uh, I did talk yes. to I did talk to Ryan about some of the things I think I probably should change and some of the weaknesses that I noticed. But uh, yeah, I'll leave it up to you guys. What do you guys think? Uh, sell me on your team. No, just kidding. <laughs> Let I mean, me see. Caliber. <laughs> yeah, Bax Caliber in the in the snow is so scary. Just in general, like it's one of the only Pokemon that in a singles format, if you have Will-O-Wisp, it's not going to matter. 
So, <laughs> like, even if you have a lot of, like, heavy attack, you st- I mean, I think you're very balanced. Now, I'm assuming that Satitan and the Grim Snarl would probably be the Terras, but one being an, if you wanted more offense and one being if you wanted more defense. Um, and obviously you just chose the Crocolar, Spit Ups, and Dusclops just to sit on the bench all season because the rest of the team is just solid. I've seen Crocolor do decently as a terror option in like uh, certain draft leagues. Just um, because it with Eviolite, it can be just like you know your Skeledurge at home, and for two points, it's definitely not bad. That, and I'll just say that I mean Dusclops obviously isn't the best, but the fact that rest is not banned does help it out a little bit because it does have that recovery, so it can be. A- So what are we thinking? I think, oh, sorry, go ahead. No, I think with the, the Sloking and Polion defensive core just in general, how they basically can eat any move that you throw at you, just depending, if as long as you read the team going in, um, they both can just, I don't know. Yeah, their only shared thing is ground, but yeah. like your ice types eat any ground. So, I mean, it's like, how much are they going to really bring? Um, yeah, so I mean, those two are going to have to do a lot defensively, but you do have screens with Ninetales and Grimmsnarl to also kind of do that, because you got to remember, like, one of the weaknesses with snow teams is that up, you're using a lot of ice Pokemon up. That means you don't have, like, a lot of switch in or, you know, revenge sort of opportunities. Like, other people's Pokemon are always going to be hitting you relatively hard. Um, but yeah, it's a very good offensive team. Mm-hmm. Um, our first weather team that we've seen too. So, I, I mean, we'll see with the rest of them, but I don't see a lot of other teams that could really combat the weather. Like there were a couple of prankster Pokemon, but you know, sometimes those can only go so, so long cause they're getting, while they're trying to change your weather, they're still taking those hits. So, yeah. I mean, so Titan either fast in or thick fat, whichever you want to do. I mean. Alex used it really well in that one season when he did his snow team. I mean, snow's very strong in this generation. They mm-hmm. they revamped it, and honestly, the only thing, like in a draft league, snow's almost stronger than water because you can't get your perfect water team. Whereas this is a really good snow team with the defensive ability from Empoleon and Slowking to eat um, what's going to be weak against. So... I mean, we all love weather here. Let's be honest. Global Pokemon Society weather teams are S and A always. So, yep, <laughs> that's where I'm at. Yeah, I I think I'd put it A, but I might put it below the team just because I can see, uh, like again, the weakness of weather teams is you know what their team is going to do yeah. with the majority of their Pokemon. So if a coach goes into a matchup like Ray to exploit the weather, then they can take it. So, I mean, they're all, like Trevor just said, they're always strong. It just can other teams deal with that, with that sort of strength. So, I'd put an A, but I'd put it below Buffalo and Paris. Okay. Do you concur? Yeah, that's good. I mean, I would say above A, the highest of A, but that's just, I mean, it, I agree with Ryan that there are things that are negative about. Um, weather teams, so yeah, they're basically, a little, they're a little predictable, yeah. yeah, the predictability is, and and I'm definitely looking at like more the Badoofs team could can really take advantage of ice because they got Bullet Punch Lucario, they got McGinner, like they got strong steel types yeah, with steel priority. Type. So that's like okay, I don't know if like that team could give this team trouble. That's fair. Yeah, I I do see a steel weakness now that Ryan says that. Um, because what is it? Empoleon's the Yeah, you just got really Empoleon to completely block it. Yeah, everybody else is uh, steel spam almost. And Empoleon comes in, takes a bullet punch, and then Lucario close combats or whatever. So it's like, yeah. you know, there's a lot of dancing there. Like yeah, I, that, That's just looking at the other teams we have in A anyway. Uh, yeah. Crocolore is also, um, also resist steel. 
Um, Stop trying to make Procolore happen. It's not oh. going to happen. I mean, so, so, Titan, so Titan Steel, I mean, you're... I will say two of your big <clears throat> steel weaknesses can terrestrialize, so um, it's not that bad. So with that, do you want to put it lower, or are you still okay with where it's at? No, no, no. I it, it's an a, it's a weather team. Weather team should never be in B. So. All right, on to the next one. We got Scotland. Ooh, raging Bolt. We got Iron Valley and Raging Bolt, Jirachi, Momola, which I had a hell of a time spelling in the fucking. After that, Overquill, Torterra, Arcanine, Electrode, Hisuin, Miracle, and Trapinch. <laughs> is Trapinch still worth one point? Or yeah, all right. Even though it just says NA, because who who would honestly pick Trapinch? But yeah, well, do you want a Trapinch though? Uh, so first thoughts, Trevor. What's or what's what's cooking? All right, so this is a, uh, I believe Calvin is still the Scotland Stouts, and he did start with me on our league a long time ago, and I'm happy that he's still making teams and joining in this league. Uh, he cooks up the weirdest strategies that I don't ever know what's going to happen until you play him, and then you figure it out. Uh, I love the Terra with the Electrode Speed, and the Terra with Arcanine. I mean, the Terra right there, just with those two, is extremely really good strong. Options. Extremely strong. Um, I know Torterra, they changed it a little bit in this gen, and it's a little bit stronger just because of the moveset that it can now have. I, I can't remember on the top of my yeah, head. Yeah, it got Shell Smash now. Yeah, it can But honestly, smash. it's even if you, like, max speed it, I'll, with a Shell Smash, a lot of Pokemon can still take advantage of it, you know, with the power creep. So, like, I remember my wife tried a Torterra on her team, and we also didn't let it terrestrialize. Like, with if it was a 9, it'd be really good. Because then you'd be like, yeah, Terra Electric, whatever, you know, do something like that, Terra Water. But at a 10, it still has a lot of weaknesses. So I'm looking at it, I'm like, hmm, I've seen it not work. And the only thing I see physical, really... You're gonna have to run the Iron Valiant more physical instead of being mixed where how people like to run it because your only real physical besides that is Torterra and Torterra slow without the shell smash. So And we um, all know physical Valiant is the worst Valiant. It is because I mean yeah. No moon blast. No yeah. moon blast sad. Yeah. Put that trap in. So I think I mean I guess Jirachi can be I mean it's a mythical. You can build it any way you want, but most of the time, it's a special Pokemon or defensive. Um, and I don't or know scarf if Iron Head and just try to flinch. Yeah, and just go for the flinches with Serene Grace. Yeah, I don't know. I um, think he has enough physical attackers. Like he's got Jirachi, he's got Overquill, he's got Arcanine and Torterra. Yeah, I mean, I can see the Valiant. You know, yeah. being able to be mixed, like you just. Max your special attack with Moon Blast and like a Shadow Ball or whatever, and then put close combat on there. Like, you'll be fine. Yeah, you'll be able to switch out uh, the speed tiers here tonight. Now, Raging Bolt, isn't that the one where you need to be in rain, though, for it to be super effective? Or... It has a special electric sucker punch, is like its, its thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. That so it has an electric sucker punch. Oh, that's dope. And yeah, it's, gets yeah, calm mind. So sun more than rain, I would think. But... Yep. Yeah. I like the regenerator with a a little mola. A little mola is good. Mm-hmm. Which flip turn regenerator set could be really great. Yep, flip yeah. turn. He's got volt switch electrode. Yep. Overquill can get up spikes. Jirachi, I believe, gets rocks. Mm-hmm. Torterra gets rocks and spikes if wanted to do that. Arcanine Intimidate can be annoying, or, you know. Overquill also gets Intimidate. The, the, the Smeargle and the Trap Pinch are just like, you know. They're there. Throwaway stuff, but the other eight Pokemon are all really good. The only thing I uh, notice is a glaring, like, ground weakness. I don't see any immunity or flying Pokemon for clean switches. Yeah. 
and like you know spike Davis yeah, you just Tor 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 is doing a lot there and uh alola yeah. mola like just max defense it to bring in our earthquakes and flip turn out to regenerate yeah but you know rock or not rocks but spikes spikes hurt this team yeah for sure just because you don't have a clean switch for it so yeah, and you don't. I don't think there's has any removal, a lot other than Smeargle, because Smeargle can learn anything. But yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. Know. That that's actually now. Now that you mentioned that, Trevor, that's gonna change my uh, tiering. Yeah, this team's Calvin, really uh, hazard weak. Pick up just a hazard tier, and you'll be good. Yeah, honestly, just, I would give. I would try to swap the Torterra for a couple other Pokemon, upgrade that like Smeargle or something to something Wait, else. Torterra might be able to rapid spin since it's a turtle. No. No? You think you have Blastoise? No. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right, so what are we thinking tier wise for Scotland? I mean, I'm still going to put an A. I might put it like top of A. Top of A? Yeah, I was going to the... argue S, but I can't do that now with the whole hazard thing. Yeah. yeah. Someone Same. could just hazard stack on them and then you're losing like twenty five percent of your health every time you come with any Pokemon with enough spikes and rocks. Yep. Fair enough. Which we haven't seen very many teams with much hazard uh no, not, there in general anyways. Not too much. Pro probably Paris is the one that has the best hazard stacking ability yeah. with uh Lamora. Lamora and then it had like a couple other decent ones. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. The next one is going to be a doozy. Uh, Ooh, so we got Seattle that. with Great Tusk, Volcanian, Corviknight, Wimpycock, Tinkerton, Regieleki, Umbreon, Tentacool, Masquerade, and Hydrapple. Uh, Regieleki at 13 points. I know it can't terrestrialize, but damn, any team that so does good. not have a ground type, ouch. Yeah. Yes. And Corbinite and Great Tusk being able to just, I, I don't yeah, know. like you're you're not having hazards up. I am having the hazards now. Yeah, That's I own the best. hazards now. We were just saying that no one really had a hazard. Uh, Calvin, you're gonna have a hard time against Seattle yeah. unless you find something here. I like the Whimsicott ad. Um, the prankster prankster Pokemon are super valuable and be able to terrestrialize yeah. the Whimsicott. Um, and possibly, yeah, I, mean, I loved my Umbreon when I had it. I used it as a terrestrialization option a lot yep. just defensively. So, yep. Um, yeah, Corviknight, Umbreon, two very good, like, uh, defensive options. Tentacruel has good utility, knockoff, flip turn, toxic. Rapid uh, spin. It can, it can do, yeah, rapid spin. It can do toxic spikes if, there's if they go up against a team that's weak to that. Um Masquerade Sticky Web. Uh because other than Reggio Lucky, the team is relatively slow. Yeah. Um, you know, Great Tusk can get there if you want a rapid spin setup or uh you can do things with the booster energy, but then you're really like low attack um with Great Tusk if you're trying to do booster energy with that. But um yeah, yeah so only, if you don't bring I, the tentacle, you need it to remove hazards. So yeah, you don't want it to be a booster. Yeah, I mean she can kind of circumvent the speed problem because Masquerade gets. Oh, yeah, well that that's what I was saying. Yeah, that's what I let off with on this, okay. and uh, definitely has like Tinkaton can just spread a bunch of thunder waves, it, like you know, and Umbreon it, can too. So choice specs Volt Switch. If you don't have a ground type, you're getting lit up. Yeah. You're getting absolutely lit yep. up. Yeah, and the and the team has a lot of good switch options. Like Whimsicott, I think, gets U turn, Corviknight gets U turn, Tentacruel gets flip turn, we talked about. So there's a lot of opportunities for this to switch in over and over and over again. Um definitely has pretty decent split between special and physical offensively. I have more lean to special, but even Reggie Lucky can go physical if it wants to. Um, extreme speed, and I think it gets a uh, bolt tackle or something. I mean, you have all your immunities as well, like I mentioned earlier. You're immune to your dragon, you've got your psychic, you got your ground, your poison, yeah. your electric. So everything you can be immune to, you are immune yeah, to. Yeah, only thing they're not immune to is the ghost, no yeah, normal. Ghost. But 
Umbreon eats ghost for breakfast. Yeah. So. yeah, you're not worried as long as Umbreon is healthy. Yep. So yeah, I mean honestly, this might be like the first S tier team. Yeah, I would agree. It's the best uh, team so far. I would tend to agree. S tier Yeah. Again, I would just like you know certain teams they're she's gonna go against and Sticky Web might have to do a lot of work against some of those teams because we've seen some really offensive teams where it's like Reggie Lucky can't handle six Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but uh I think she has the good defensive core and then the sticky webs to kind of help with that. The only team I see having a problem with is the Bidoofs, just with the yeah. speed, the speed tier options. So, uh, the Meowths, too, though, with um, like just Gouging Fire being uh, resistant to Regilecki and then just Sucker Punch from King Gambit. I, yeah. I could see, like, those two being a little bit of a problem here, but Great Tusk also eats both of those pretty easily, yeah. so. I mean, Whimsicott, I know it's not bulky, but it also doesn't take much from Sucker Punch either, so. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it can take one, like, unboosted, probably. Now, can Whimsicott only set up Sun, though, or can it Rain Dance as a prankster? No, shirt? only a uh, Sunny Day. Well, that's the only thing that's going to hurt you then, Kevin, uh, for weather right now, honestly. So. Yeah. Just, just the prankster Pokemon with sunny days and all that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Next, we got Simi with Cinderace, Valerian Slowbro, Deancey, Annihilates, Queen Samurott, Tornadus Incarnate, Mudsdale, Flygon, Preserver, and Victory. Um, I'll take this one. Uh, the first thing I notice is lots of really good Terra options. Um. That's the first thing I noticed. The Mudsdale, the Flygon, I mean, Terra Steel with Levitate, that could be a problem. Uh, Ely Spirit, Terra Steel, Preserver might be a problem if uh, you're able to get some sort of speed control. Uh, Shiftry with uh, Wind Rider could be a problem. Uh, Tailwind, it's basically doubling your speed and gives you attack boost, so that could be a decent setup. Um, Mudsdale being able to eat every defense, uh, every physical Pokemon ever. Yep, yeah, basically. Uh, then we got the especially Nihilator. with Rust can just bring it right back. Yep. Uh, that's going to be a nightmare to deal with. Then uh, we got obviously uh, some decent hazards with Hisui uh, Samurott and Blade Spikes while being on the offensives. I love that Pokemon. Uh, Mudsdale can also set up rocks too. Uh, we got Annihilate, which can also set up rocks, but I don't think you're using it for that, uh, especially since you have a lot better options to do that. And then, uh, uh, regenerate. Protein's legal, right? Kevin, Protein's legal? Yep, uh, but in this case, it'd be Libero, but it is legal. Yeah, but yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so, yeah, no, I really actually kind of like this team. Got, got a decent balance. The only thing. I can like the flygon with levitate and being able to terastalize. That's pretty good. Any any levitate Pokemon you can terastalize is is nice. Yep. Terra, he Terra, doesn't really uh, have a lot of special attackers though. I mean, you just got Diancy, but Diancy's not like crazy. Tornadus. Yeah. I don't think. Yeah, but what your 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 stab is Hurricane. Like this ain't a rain team. You know, <laughs> if if, I mean, if your stab is focus blast, uh, slow slowbro can do some special as well. So I mean, it can be run specially, yeah. but I don't know. I'm just looking at like the actual threats here: Cinderace, Annihilate, Samurott, Flygon. Yeah. You know, they're all physical attackers. Tor Tornadus can do things, but. And I was about to say, I don't see, a, the other thing I don't see is a whole lot of, like, as removal, but uh, race with Torque Change could be just a way to do it, but then if you're setting up your own hazards, too, that doesn't really help you. So, yeah, yeah, you don't want a core Change on this team with Samurott. Yeah. So, um, you can do a Defog with Shift Tree, I guess. But, again, you're also but. removing your hazards. I think this team dinner, to be honest. Yeah. I'm ready for Terra, Electric, Flygon, Levitate. 
no weaknesses. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that thing's dope. I love flag. Or against certain teams, I would just like scarf, tear a ground, and just earthquake everything. That's true. Flag on can U turn as well. So, yep. That's, yeah, that's true. You got yep. a lot of switch. You got flip turn, Samurott, U turn, flag on, U turn, Cinderace. I mean, Tornadus. Tornadus, yeah. Yep. Yeah, a lot of U turn. And a lot flip. of. Yep. Annihilate can U turn, Cinderace. Samara with the flip, Tornadus, Flygon. I think I think Berserker even gets U turn. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of uh switching around on this team ability. So uh, well, the other thing I'll mention is that since rest is not banned, uh, Annihilate that just makes Annihilate a bigger problem. The only yeah. the only two saving graces is Revival Blessing is not a legal move. So we can't. We don't have to worry about it coming back once it's been. Oh, it's lived. not. Yeah, it's not legal. Okay. Um, and then it can't Terra either. So it's not like it could defensively Terra and. Yeah. Those are the only two things that are keeping. But it's it so really bulky. Legal. I've seen. Yeah, it doesn't. Like matter. you know, it's like you got to have a couple answers to to this guy because even super effective hits, he's going to eat a couple of them. Yep. And that just makes him stronger. Yep. Yep. On that ultra ego. Um, so you, did, are... you did really well with Annihilate last season. Last season, so I mean, we all know it's it's dangerous. Yep. So honestly, I'm thinking this might be one of the better teams. I don't think it beats Battle, but I definitely think it's one of the better teams. Um, what do you guys think? Um, only because it's lacking on the oh, special that's side. That's I would yeah, say it's lacking special is lacking ways to remove hazards while keeping its own up like this yeah. team's gonna want to really keep its hazards up to uh because it's going to be forcing a lot of switch ins yeah. with its own yeah. switching yeah so you want to get your hazards up quick with your uh samurai your mudsdale early and then use your u-turn and stuff to like force your opponent to be switching out and gain that residual damage that way but yeah like not a lot of special taggers. I mean, I could see it. What do you think, Trevor? Like low A, high B? Yeah. I think the uh, the ability to just, where's the scarf, honestly, on this team? Um, yeah. A lot of teams you can kind of say, oh, it's between this Pokemon or this Pokemon. There are a lot of scarf users. Yeah, there's like at least three Yeah. that are like glaring, like. Annihilate could be Scarf even. Samurai Sam can be Scarf. Flygon, Flygon, of course. Mm -hmm. Like, the plane wears the Scarf going into the match is not going to be fun. And we know that uh, Semi likes to get a little sweaty, so uh, it'll be good. So, so I, to, I still say A. Yeah, A. To, to echo what Ryan said, if you got like a good rapid spinner, maybe one good special attacker. I can see, I can see the potential of this team. A huge fucking problem. And honestly, Simi might know something that we don't and run. I mean, I was trying to tweak a way to run Samurott special because it actually has a decent little move pool there. It just doesn't hit as hard as you want it to. Okay. You just never know. So where in A are we thinking? I'd say um, bottom. Yeah. Bottom of A. Yeah. Okay. A2 is getting there. Done. All right, next we got oh. Sin City. We got uh, Palafin, Goldango, Salamence, Volcarona, Shaman, Forges, Iron Thorns, and Antler. So, right off the bat, we got two decent Terra users. Iron Thorns is a great Terra abuser. Most common Terra I've seen on it is Terra Bug with like dice and in missile rock blast shenanigans. Um, then it gets rid of the times four ground week for a resistance. Um, Espeon being able to Terra with magic bounce is really nice. Mm -hmm. uh, the only problem that I see on that is. When I think of Goldango, I think of Goldango on teams that like really abuse hazards because it's really difficult to remove hazards with Goldango 
uh, in the mix. But outside of Iron Thorn, I don't really see hazard. See, this strategy with this team is to let your your uh, opponent think they're going to get hazards up with that Espeon and then put it on their side and then just absolutely roll them with Goldango and Palafin. You don't need hazards when you have a Magic Bounce Pokemon. If you think about it and do it well enough, it's... Yeah, I, I mean, it will take uh, the right outplay, but yeah, in a say, best two out of three, too. Yeah, I was going to say, with Magic Bounce being like the only like hazard, it's not even really hazard rule, more like hazard deterrent, because are you really going to want to set up the hazard if Espeon's in the back and could potentially switch in? Um, but with yeah. You need to hide your hazards on another option. Like, don't have your obvious hazard setter against this team be your hazard setter. Like, don't think you're going to, like, lead with your Mudsdale and click rocks first turn yeah. sort of thing, you know? You might have to, like, kind of hide them or be ready to kind of, like, attack and try to get SBR on the switch a couple times. Yeah, well, that'll, yeah. that'll only work one. So in a best two of three, that be... That might get you a game, but yeah, that's what I mean. It, it, it's it's all a mind game with the magic bouncer, but you know, yeah. sometimes Dude, sometimes you gotta. Yeah. That's what you how you gotta play it. I mean, you get to lead Palafin flip turn into your Espeon to magic bounce back the stuff, and then you have Hero Palafin the rest of the match. Like, I mean, what's wrong with that if the person leads a uh, hazard setter? So, yeah. uh, anyone got anyone else got anything to uh, add to this team? Um, the only thing I can think of is if Rocks do manage to get up, he's kind of weak to them. Uh, he can slap boots on Volcarona, I guess. But other than that, the team doesn't really like Rocks if they manage to get it off. But that's a big I mean, if. Volcarona should be wearing boots, though. So. Yeah, the team's not too weak against Rocks if they do get up. No. So. Salamence can be a, a physical or special, so. Yeah. Like that too. Yeah. Now that this is a very uh, solid team. Yeah, I agree. I don't know what the shaman's doing here though at ten, but yeah. Being I think cute. he tried shaman last time and it just didn't do much of anything. Yeah. I feel like you always bring your iron right. thorn to be on, and mm -hmm. it's like, where's the Terra? So. Yeah. Like, what do you do? You just scarf Shaman and try and seed flare everything to death if you can? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, but why wouldn't you just scarf your Salamence or Goldango and just absolutely... I mean, if you're going Moxie Salamence, I would scarf it, but... That's, yeah, that's true. And Goldango, you you might... Like, this team needs the Goldango to be its defensive utility. That's true. So I don't know, like, unless you're, like, scarf tricking with it. Yeah. I don't Scarf know if you would garf it here. That also works. Yeah. So what are we thinking? Here? Why I like the game. A lot of these teams are like pretty similar in how uh, how they're constructed. Just just because of you know, there's so many Pokemon available now, so it's like hard to be like, oh yeah, you really had to make tough decisions here on what Pokemon to add. Like they're able to really kind of have these solid seven or eight Pokemon. Um, Honestly, besides Seattle, who's putting up hazards anyways? Look at the other teams. Like, we keep saying hazard, 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 but... Yeah, other than, again, really like, Paris cool. has Glamora, so... Paris, but, yeah, Glamora. But, yeah, there's only know. a couple teams. I mean, Samurott would probably uh, eat this team up, though, because you can't switch into... <clears throat> you can't switch into Ceaseless Edge or whatever it's called. Yeah. Um, yeah. And even if you could take a ceaseless edge. I don't think that would really trigger magic bounce, right? No. Yeah, the, dark, the dark spam here is really nice. Yeah. Yeah, you only really got floor just, but physical dark spam too is gonna be able to wear it down eventually. Um, I don't know. I'm worried. We're gonna have to start getting nitpicky here. We're gonna have to look back at the tier list and be like, okay, we gotta get nitpicky here because all the teams are pretty strong i'm gonna say top of b with this one top of b. i'm i'm fine with that just because yeah, like a high b there is not a legendary like a lot of the other teams have that's just super powerful yeah They're really i mean you got hero form <laughs> yeah i know that's your legendary 
Yeah, Shaman's not. That is no nah, shame. Shaman's not. I don't know. Shaman probably could even have been nine points. Just give it something. <laughs> <laughs> I this is a team after my heart though, because these are some of my favorite Pokemon. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. If you if you put a blindfold on me here and just read the team out, I'd be like, oh, Trevor's drafting. Like, yeah, I didn't know he we was in the league this Mando, season. <laughs> Corona, Espeon, that's yeah. my team. Give it to me. <laughs> exactly, Sal- <laughs> Salomon and Volcarona. That sounds like some Pokemon he'd take. Espeon, yeah, that that's his. Yep. That's it. This is a team after my heart. Three of my favorites, for sure. All right. We're on the last stretch. We got two more. All right. So for this one, uh, Yo. Tokyo, we got Chi Yu, Landris Therian, Rabambi, Samurott, uh, Unovan, Claude Sire, Mimikyu, Raladon, Thomas Magius, Recorio Pom Pom, and Cactur. The Raladon can terrestrialize? Whoa. <laughs> Terrasalize Eviolite Duraludon? What? The thing is, that's nasty. That's yeah, definitely one of the better Terra users for sure. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, Chiyu's scary. Period. Landorus is scary. We know what Boston can do with Landorus. I mean, that's that. This is a. You know what? I'm gonna do the same thing he did to me. This is a Boston made team right here, and <laughs> you can't tell me that it's not. Yeah, I, I like the Miss Magius and Duraludon options. Mm-hmm. I like Claude Zire for your defensive Pokemon. Landorus gets the other side of that against offensive Pokemon Chi Yu just to nuke things. M- Mimikyu um, for the disguise, Claude Sire, yeah. etc. M- Mimikyu, I think, is a trap. I I always feel like Mimikyu's a trap. Um, but I, it's a very solid team. Yep. Oracle Pom Pom is solid, even though it can't terrestrialize. It's still Quiver Dance Electric type. This like, tier on this team is insane, though. Like, it is faster. Its core is faster than most of these teams. I mean, the fastest thing on the team is Rafambi. Uh, Chiyu hits 100, which isn't impressive, but you can scarf it, and that would... Yeah, be- you, you just scarf overheating. Yeah. Just, yeah. Again, it's just the the nuke. Bring it in, boom. But, I mean, Go back crazy. into whatever defensive Pokemon you need, Landorus or Claude Zire. Mm-hmm. Get it back in, boom. Um, this Mage is decently fast. Um, yeah. I forget the speed. Of- Bobby still gets sticky webs in this, right? Yeah. yeah. That's... See... That the speed just with that added in. I mean, the base speed on this team is faster than most with a you know a negative one from the sticky webs. So yeah, the team. Um, well, Oracorio gets defog. So much immunity though, like yeah, a lot is... of ground immunity. Claude Zire can be water immune. Yep, electric immune. A couple dragon immunities. You got your yep. fighting, you got your ground, you got your psychic, you got two dragon. Like, this is the best defensively built team. It's ironic considering that there's a lot of offensive right. here. Yeah. That's yeah, it's scary with Chi Yu. Yeah. I mean, every Pokemon on this team is built around that Chi Yu perfectly. Mm. Chi Yu and friends. Um, so, where do we want to put it? I'm just taking another look at it. The only other thing is, out, like outside of Oracle and Tom, Tom, like I don't, I don't remember if it gets defog. I think it might, but I'm pretty sure it does. Uh, if it doesn't, then you know this this team has a hazard weakness. But so does every other team at this. Yeah. Point. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, people just didn't prioritize like rapid spinners. They didn't. I, I mean, think. Uh, can you bring up the tier list, Kevin? Uh, we need to start getting a little nitpicky here because we're all I mean, putting them in A and B. Okay. Um. All right. We got to start slotting some things down just for for the sake of things. So I think we move everything El Paso and below down to C. 
right now. Okay. Just just because there has to be like a you know, yeah. even though your team is still good, we we need to actually make a tier list here and not. Yeah. Say you know, uh, this isn't Pee Wee football. You you don't all get a participation trophy. That's true. Honestly, and, I was gonna say Tokyo is an S, but that's just me. <laughs> because if I had this team, I would love this team. Yeah, I, I I'm gonna say like somewhere around the Badoof Paris level, where is where I was thinking. But I think uh, we should move Sears down to B, and then. Maybe even make Primal's top a B and just have them be the gatekeeper. Yeah. Okay. I can live with that. Tokyo top of A then, or are you going to put it in S? You, can, you think like a I'm saying somewhere like maybe ahead of Badoops is where I'm saying. Okay. I don't know where, where Kevin had it in his idea. I was thinking. Like between Badoops and Scotland, somewhere around there. Yeah. I was thinking. Or in between Paris, but that, I mean, I'm, I'm open to putting it here if y'all. Oh, Tre Trevor was saying S, so I think we should lean a little higher. Okay. I can if we're all trying to like split it. Like the <laughs> the resistances are absolutely insane. Like there are so, like almost every Pokemon on here has multiple. That, yeah. I don't know. I would yeah. like that more if other like Clodzire is the only thing that has reliable recovery, but Clodzire's true can be taken advantage of a lot because it's just so slow. Mm -hmm. Um, like Oracoro can roost, but I mean you're you're just gonna want to use its uh, more offensive abilities. Yeah, for that. So it's like yeah, it does. Like it's gonna you're gonna have to get the right switches and. Do stuff you're around have, and you're gonna have to play really well. Yeah. Honestly. You're gonna have to read the other team really well, and this team's very strong. Yeah. All right. One last. one wrong read and you kind of get snowballed though. All right, last one we got Vero. And we're walking with Zamazenta, Dragon Knight, Dark Rise, Sylveon, Porygon Z, Thunderous Incarnate, Morgrim, Kiram, Dustmore, and Perchin. Um, Yo. So right off the bat, Zamazenta, a problem. Um, that thing's yeah. And it's not. It's not crowned. It's not crowned, but it's still. A you can scarf it. You can band it. Yeah. You can Zamazenta leftovers. Too. Honestly, this is the stronger Zamazenta. <laughs> Just because of is. all the options it can do. Yeah. I would agree because it's not you know what item it's it's holding basically. Yeah, well, you this one you don't know what item it's holding. I think well, is yeah, what you meant, right? The other one you know what yeah. it's holding. When it's crowned. So. Yeah. So. But outside, of and that, it still gets all the same sort of stuff and doesn't need like. Yeah, it's a little weaker to fairy and psychic, but. I mean. Like you said earlier, fairy is very. Um, there's not much fairy in the league, but this team is fairy oh, weak. Oh, someone just yeah, moonblast, moonblast, moonblast. Like literally, Iron Valiant solos this team. Almost. Honestly, the like, team is uh, also very offensive. It is like super like, offensive because like, Sylveon's right? okay, but it's not the same sort of thing as like an Umbreon or Vaporeon when it comes to like the defensive evolutions. The only like yeah. defensive thing here is like Morgrim with maybe. Yeah, but it's Morgrim doesn't have the bulk to like set up screens and survive because you like, want you light clay. Have, you have the Zion light, that means you don't have light clay, yeah. so. Yeah. Um, I I see a bunch of bulk here just in general, but Fairy still lights this team up. There's no resistances yeah. either. Because I'm pretty sure Darkrai is uh, neutral to Fairy, even though it's dark type. It would just be weak to it because it, it's just pure dark, right? Oh, then yeah. Then he, then there's four glaring. Fairy yeah, items. one, two, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely hyper offensive. Um, the only other thing I was going to mention was um, I'm not seeing any hazard removal here. 
or am I seeing any hazard any setters? I don't know. Did Curtin get anything? Get anything? Yeah, I get spikes, but I mean, don't do that. So don't no, even bring them to the chin. No hazards, no hazards. Listen, we, we, we know what's going on here. This is our D team. Well, yeah. But the team's staying strong. You just need very resistance. That's it. You yeah. can build it. This Listen, team, the, the, you swap the thing that makes this team worse team. than all the others is huge weakness to one type. Yeah. No way to get up hazards. No way to remove hazards. Yeah. And that and all the other teams we at least can say have those yep. sort because of options. So before we What's your bulk to resist fairy, Sylveon? That's not that great. No, yeah, it's There's not no resist. resist. There's no resistance. Yeah, no, you need, that's, you need... What I, that's what I mean. Like a fairy move for a switch in, what are you doing, Sylveon? Because that's really the Yeah, I guess Terra Poison Porygon Z. That was yeah. actually the last thing I was going to point out is Oregon Z is actually a decent offensive. Uh, oh, it's a user. it's probably the best. Uh, Terra. I mean, you just Terra normal adaptability. Yeah. Choice specs like. Try attack. You know, yeah, try attack and then hyper beam if you really need the cleanup on something. Yep. But oh, I mean, yeah. that, uh, another thing that makes this team a little lacking is like you look at its terrestrialization options. It's Porygon Z. That's, that's it. it, and that's yeah. it. You're bringing Porygons to the every every match. Yeah, honestly, replace the Darkrai with a Steel Pokemon, and this team is very good. Yeah, that's not yeah, because you like you don't necessarily need the coverage that Darkrai gets, because Porygon Z also gets the same sort of coverage, and with adaptability and terrestrialization, you're hitting like just as strong like as a Darkrai would. Though. Yeah. I have a lot of options. Thunderbolt, Dark Pulse, Shadow Ball, Ice has, Beam. Like, it gets all the same sort of things Darkrai does, except for, like, Sludge Bomb. And it can now be It gets defensive. nasty plot. Yeah. Like, it's yeah. it's slower than Darkrai, of course, but, yeah, like Trevor said, like, you get a very nice steel type on this team, and you'll you'll do a lot, lot better. Mm-hmm. And then... It's arguing is this team, you know, A S if you have those things. So Yeah. Yeah. Like a steel type that can set up hazards and take several hits. Like I don't know what's available for that, but we there there definitely should be some things available that you can do. Yep. Okay. Well that's all the uh, that's all the teams. Uh, are we okay with how this is looking right now? Yeah. It's actually very balanced now with one at the top, one at the bottom, and a bunch in the middle. Yeah. And and like we, you know, we just moved some stuff around, but I do think like the A and B sort of tiers can like they meld together a little bit. We just had to make like a like a stance, like nope, this is where it's gotta go. Right. All right, well, in that case, uh, I think that was uh, pretty successful tier list. Uh, thank you guys. Yeah. For Where the hell is Alex? Yeah. Yeah. He never even showed up. That like, punk. Yeah. Who had? He's still not at dinner. Uh, Vero, get Iron Crown if it's available in your set, bro. Ooh. You're so good if you switch that for Iron Crown. Iron Crown. I think, I think it is available, yeah. actually. So yeah. Yeah. I mean, no definitely one, available. No no one had it. Metagross is Metagross in this now as well. Yes. Yeah, Metagross honestly, Meta solid. Metagross, Scizor, or uh, Iron Crown, and you're safe. I like Iron Crown better. Iron Crown because honestly, another special attack would be really good. Not only yeah, that, Iron. Not only that, but it gives Pink Kirchen a purpose too. <laughs> yeah. Where is Iron Crown? You get rid of that. Uh, Dark Rye for Iron Crown and maybe the Kirim for like a Scizor or Metagross. <laughs> this team is scary good. Uh, Iron Crown 17 points. It's more than Dark Cry, so he yes. can't do that. He could get the Metagross though. Player, you can play around with it. He can play around with it. Yeah. All right. Well, once again, uh, we will be shit talking Alex in the di Alex in the Discord for sure because he was yeah there, no show like a bitch. Um. <laughs> but yeah, thank you for all of you who did decide to show up. That was greatly appreciated. Um, and I hope to hear from you guys more soon. 
Maybe we can. Yep. Maybe we can do a a, a post or a pre playoffs uh, or post season or week eight when everything's finalized. Yeah. Yeah, we would. I would love to do that. Also, yeah. uh, Ryan and I can commentate the finals if you want. So there you go. That yeah, works. depending on the day or whatever, we can try to work that out for sure. All right. Well, we'll definitely work something out. Otherwise, yeah. yeah. Good. Good luck to uh, all the teams and. All that. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll catch you guys after week eight then. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe to the Sin Dragon Lord YouTube, YouTube channel because for the foreseeable future, that is where draft battles will be posted. So please support. Um, otherwise, have a good day, guys.